actually precision engineering. They have got previous with Citizen Miano. When I say previous, one of the older machines? Yeah, well, we've got four machines in total now. So the older machine, why did you like that so much? Well, it was just very productive, very reliable and very robust. On that basis, then, I presume it's still going strong. It is. Yeah, it's still going today. In fact, running at the moment. This is a sort of, well, straight replacement of that one? Well, it's an upgrade, really. Extra turret and extra live tooling on that turret and a Y-axis. Right. So when you say extra turret, so two turrets, two spindles. Correct. Driven tooling on both turrets and a Y-axis on the main turret. OK, so with that Y-axis, what's that enabled you to do? So that allows us now to do more complex machining uh, and hold tighter tolerances than we could hold before. OK, so in terms of tolerances, though, I mean, this machine, you, you intimated off camera that you, you sort of set it up running, no thermal growth, no movement whatsoever. No, no, exactly. We run it overnight and it doesn't budge an inch, really. OK, and that's the same with all your Mianos, though. Yeah, yeah. And well, when I say doesn't budge an inch, doesn't move a micron. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. If we work it to inches, it's probably a little bit of a problem. But you work closely with Tony Nolla from Citizen. Yeah, that's right. And he's looked after you, I'm assuming? Yeah, Tony's a great guy. OK. And then, how has he helped you, though, in terms of these machines? Well, the support that we get from Miano is excellent, really. You know, the machines really don't break down very often, but when they do, the guys are on call very quickly, yep. come in and resolve the issues, and support us extremely well all the way through. Okay. And do you use the support of the applications engineers very often? Eh? Yeah, we have done. Um, to be fair, most of the time, we can use the, uh, the system that we've got here, and we get up and running very quickly, but they're always on hand if you need them. OK, when you say the system, just next to it, I've not seen this configuration before, so this is your Alcart Al Wizard. Which That's is right, yeah. And we found this excellent because it allows some of our uh, apprentices to get up and running very quickly with programming. And that's a huge advantage to the business. Yeah, and without insulting your apprentice, it was like a, it's almost like an idiot's guide. It is, yeah. I mean, you can click and pick and get things up and running, you know, in a matter of minutes sometimes. OK. Now, looking, I mean, at, like many machine shops we see, a little bit tight, tight for space. So was the footprint of this machine something you had to consider? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, you never want to give away too much space at a workshop, and this fits in really nicely and does an excellent job for us. OK, but then alluding to what I said earlier in terms of your thermal growth, it's a rigid machine, but also super powerful. Yeah, yeah, very powerful. Main spindle's got ex extreme power on the driven tools, and uh, you know, we can machine alloy steels and stainless steels all day long. All oh, right, well, that, that ties in nicely with the component you've got here, which I understand, it, well, what, what is this component here? What's it made of? So this is 431, uh, which is a high tensile material, and um, there's a lot of milling on this, um, turning and milling, and it's, um, you know, we're holding 10 micron tolerances on it. Right, OK. And in terms of milling, that ties in nicely with the Y-axis and all driven tooling front and back. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and that gives us loads of flexibility on what we can actually produce now in one hit. OK, and then also, in terms of your flexibility, you're running, you've got bar loader to keep, so that's right. 24-7? Yeah, so it runs 24-7. OK. And one final point, a lot of machines have the Mitsubishi controls on, a lot of the Mianos, um, citizens of Fincoms have the Miano controls, but you, you opt to FANUC, why is that? Uh, well, we're just very familiar with FANUC here, that's what we've always used up till now, so that's the reason we went for the FANUC control on it. Uh, okay. Now also, in terms of milling, because you're able to mill on, on this machine now, are you reducing cycle times? Yeah, cycle times are shortening, you've got the benefit of being able to machine on the sub-spindle at the same time, and we can do much more complex components than we could do before. There you go. What so there's benefits you all round, really. Absolutely, yeah, what more do you need? So, more complex components, reducing cycle times. There you go. Peter, thank you very much. Pleasure.